Hey guys, welcome to BitGlen again and today I wanted to just talk about a few things in the cryptocurrency world, uh, have a look at the markets. I didn't actually get a chance to do the video yesterday because I was out till 1 in the morning so I apologise for that. But um, yeah, weekends are probably going to be harder for me to do videos so maybe I'll do these sort of Monday to Friday but I'm still working it out so bear with me. <laughs> and uh, I'm feeling a bit more refreshed today, I'm finally getting over this cold which is good, my voice is coming back to me so even better. Um, so let's get into it and have a little look at what's going on. So last night the um, cryptocurrency world and the market cap shut up massive. Um, I don't particularly know why, so I don't know the reasons behind it, but I did a video um, about a week ago saying that I believe over the weekend, so I think it was last weekend, I think I said uh, Bitcoins I reckon will hit over the 8,000 mark, so last week we were talking about it hitting $8,000, and as we can see here, as of the 27th of November, 2017 at about 5 to 12, so midday in the UK, um, they're currently sitting at $9,613, uh, so it's almost at that $10,000 mark, which I said it would be by the end of the year, so by the looks of things, it could be that by the end of November, so that would be insane. Um, Ethereum's gone up 475 per coin. Uh, Bitcoin Cash is at 1.6. That was at 1.1 1, 1 at one point. Um, then you've got Bitcoin Gold, which is uh, it seems to have overtaken Litecoin, which again, Litecoin had a really good, it went up to $89. So I reckon Litecoin will be over $100 by the end of this year because that's a bit of slow burn, like slower. Uprising, uh, Ethereum. I reckon. Well, I'm pretty sure they're going to hit over the 500 mark, which again I sort of predicted in my video last, you know, a week and a half ago. So everything I said sort of coming true, um, but just obviously a lot quicker than what I thought it would. I thought it'd happen by the end of this year, but it's happening a week after I said it. So um, yeah, it just makes me really sort of think. Ah, oh, and I know everyone probably does this, and. You, you can't choose. It sort of makes me think, oh, I remember talking to my partner, Becky, I've told this story a couple of times, saying, I think I might invest in these Bitcoins, but it's a bit risky because they're £2,000 per coin. 2000 and now they're ten. If I put a grand in it um, then, which was June, July time, now we're in November, um, my money would have times five, so... <laughs> I'd have five grand right now sitting in the bank. Um, so never mind, it is what it is. Um, so I, I still believe, so where's it going to go next? So I believe that within January, February, it will sort of, um, I reckon it will slow down after Christmas uh, for a little bit, potentially. Um, it may even dip down and then come back up, and it may hover around the 10 grand mark. But I believe it will hit sort of by February. I think they'll be worth twelve thousand uh, pounds a Bitcoin. That's just purely from what I've seen online and what's going on with the price of it in Zimbabwe. And um, that's just my educated guess. I believe uh, Ethereum will be worth over five hundred before the end of the year. Now, um, whether that's five fifty, five two five, something like that. Um, and Litecoin, I believe, is going to be over a, a hundred. The others, I don't really want to comment on because I haven't been keeping an eye on them as much. Because in in my Coinbase wallet, I can only keep an eye on Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Litecoin. So they're the ones I keep an eye on every day. So that's what happened last night. So yeah, massive jump up from uh, where they were. It just makes me even more confident that this is definitely the way to go forward. Um, I believe uh, there's some really good videos out there from a strategic analyst called Tom Lee, so if you get a chance, search him on YouTube, and he's done a, um, uh, he's basically done a analysis of where Bitcoin is and where it's going, and he mentions in uh, several videos that you can look up online actually of him in there, that Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies are a store of value, the same as gold, because really gold isn't worth anything, it's just a metal that we associate with a value because it's nice and shiny and it can be melted down into nice jewellery. 
So he was saying that gold is worth, as a whole, uh, in the whole world, something like, and I'm just, I can't remember exactly off the top of my head, but say like $9 trillion or something. Um, so he was saying that even if Bitcoin was worth, say, 5% of that trillion, uh, you know, $9 trillion, Based on how many coins are actually available and in circulation, he estimated that each Bitcoin would be worth $25,000. And he also said that actually the 5% is a conservative um, valuation of the gold uh, versus gold. He said if it keeps going the way it's going and the way it's looking at the minute, it's actually more like 10 to 15%. But then you're talking sort of 100,000 per coin, maybe 200,000 per coin. So... Even someone who's as clever as he is and uh, experienced in the field that he's in, still obviously, it just goes to show that um, no one knows where this is going. But a lot of people are say, you know, thinking the same thing that it's gonna keep going up. So I believe this is definitely the way forward to go. Um, I don't feel like I'm sort of. I feel more secure now uh, as a, as a a new person coming into this and as you guys may know if you've watched my videos from the beginning I've been videoing my sort of journey of starting cryptocurrency with nothing invested at all and not having a very big knowledge of it to obviously a week and a half two weeks later today and understanding it a bit better and understanding these different currencies and what's happening it makes me feel more confident that Bitcoin actually is a secure uh, investment for the long term. I was even talking today to someone about you know investing in an ICO, which ICOs are obviously still very volatile, very risky strategy. And I said, oh, I feel like maybe I should just put a grand or two grand into Bitcoin because let's face it, it's very unlikely that it's just going to drop off the end of the earth. So, whereas obviously ICOs could do that. So, and then I was thinking about it and I was thinking, God, I wouldn't have said that a couple of months ago. A couple of months ago, I would have said that Bitcoin is a risky strategy, you know, because no one knows where it's going. But I feel like the markets and investors and even the general public are starting to hear about Bitcoin, understanding it, knowing the process and actually thinking, actually, I want to give this a go. I want to try it. And obviously, there's only so many coins. It sounds like big numbers. When you say things like there's going to be in total, there should be 21 million Bitcoins. That sounds like a lot, but actually, um, it's actually quite a small amount of number. Bearing in mind that Bitcoin is a currency that anyone can use in the world. So there's potentially 7 billion customers for Bitcoin, but there's only 21 million coins to go around. So there will never be a case where everyone can own one Bitcoin. So think about that. Not everyone on the planet can own one Bitcoin. It's impos- mathematically impossible. Everyone in the world could own 0.000000001 of a coin, maybe. But, um, so, you know, they're, they're not going to be able to hold one Bitcoin. So if you can get hold of just one, you know, you're already far ahead uh, compared to, obviously, the rest of the world. And obviously there's people currently, you know, and obviously I don't know who they are, but there's people out there. I mean, there's 16 million in circulation. um, And I don't think there's that many people, 16 million people probably own Bitcoin. So that means somewhere someone owns two, three hundred of them. Another person might own four, five hundred of them. Just, you know, so there's not actually that many people that have got them. Um. So I think now is still a good time, even though that we're probably going to be talking, by the time I've got enough money, which is within the next week or so, I'm going to have maybe a grand, two grand to spend. And I'm looking at it thinking, oh, 10 grand a Bitcoin. I still believe in my heart and in my mind that that's still a good value for money. I'm going to be looking at this time next year, I'm going to be saying, God, I wish I bought more when they were at 9,600. That's that's my personal opinion. So take from it what you will. Don't um, base any investment um, based on what I say. That's just me speculating, really. So that's where we are with Bitcoin today, as of uh, the 27th of November. Um, obviously, my next uh, or investment is an ICO called Envium, which I've discussed a lot in my videos. 
Um, I just keep finding out more and more information about this company every day. Um, and it's just making me even more confident in investing in these. I've had a look at some of the other ICOs that are out there. And there really are some out there um, that literally have barely a business plan, barely a roadmap, barely a working product. And people are still investing in them. So I'm feeling insecure investing in these guys when they have an actual working uh, unit. And they actually have a business plan, uh, a really decent white paper. Uh, videos, all their staff are listed, you know, I feel like they've gone all out to make people feel more secure about investing in them, uh, but people are still worried and insecure about it, which is understandable, I, I could be completely wrong, this could all collapse, but, um, you know, me and my colleague, we were talking about other companies that are offering mining, like an ICO that does mining as well. And we couldn't really find any other. Um, there was a couple of other ones. I think one was called Electroem or something like that. And apparently that went from, at one point, and this is none of my own research. This is my friend Nathan. Um, uh, he said uh, they dived because they didn't. They didn't start mining and delivering coins to people on the date they said they would. So that could happen with Environ. Um, a gigawatt is another one. Apparently the price was at $1.57 at one point, And the highest they reached was $24. So just think about that. It doesn't sound like a lot of money. But if you invested a £1,000 into gigawatt at one point when it was worth $1. And then it went up to $24. You're 24 times in your money, so a thousand pound would have become 24,000 pounds and then cash out. But apparently, that only reached that amount for one day and then it bottomed back down to two dollars. So, that just proves how versatile and how volatile these ICOs can be. One day worth one dollar, next day, 24 dollars, next day, and since then, two dollars. So, you'd feel gutted if you own shares in that company now. You'd think, oh, I wish they went back up to 24. So I'm hoping something like that happens with Envion. As long as they stick to their payment agreement, they've said that they're going to start paying people out on January the 10th. Um, I'm actually on holiday uh, on until January the 15th. So by the time I get back, I should be able to check my wallet and I should have paid Ephraim from Environ. If that's the case, I'll be looking at the token price then and if they're doing well, Potentially I might cash out, uh, but generally, uh, based on what I was just talking about with the price of the coins going up, I believe the strategy to go forward is to, any way you can, whether that's cloud mining, mining at home yourself, buying and just holding, any way that you can just get hold of coins, online coins, just hoard as many as you can and keep hold of them. You know, people are buying them and selling them on a daily basis and they're making money off doing that. But you have to be really hot on it and you have to be willing to take risks and gambles. And then it becomes a case of, you know, you might as well just go and play roulette because I can go and put 500 quid on red and it could come in and I've doubled my money. Um, but then again, on the other hand, it could come in black and I lose. So uh, I, f I believe holding on to them is the key. So um you know, I'm really excited for this environment. I'm probably going to do another video, uh, either today or tomorrow, just sort of going into the full in-depth of this Environ ICO because I get a lot of questions and I'm in um, a few groups in this and lots of people asking similar questions over and over again and maybe Environ haven't explained it. Oh, they have. They have explained it, but maybe in a way where people, they don't want to read a 60-page document. I might just go over the highlights um, and maybe it helps some people out making a financial decision. So that's where we are with ICO on Environ. Uh, Genesis Mining, so I, I had a look and I've decided today, one of the feedback I got from my videos is that I keep sort of uh, cutting in and out between British pounds and dollars and I believe it's easier for one for all my viewers and for me in my mind when I'm talking to you if I just talk in dollars because everything I'm reading on screen is in dollars and I'm trying to convert it in my head and then talk at all at the same time and it's, it's, it's tripping me up so um, 
I'm going to do it in dollars. So I've actually worked out based on what I'm getting from Genesis Mining. So if you watch back one of my videos, I talk about uh, what I'm earning from Genesis Mining. Now with all the currencies actually shooting up in price, it means that instead of me getting 10, uh, what was it, 10 cent a day, I'm now earning something like, and I'll just, so this is how much Ethereum I've got. I've got 0 0.003. And that was from a, an original contract that I bought. You can see along here for $58. So I paid $58 um, a couple of weeks ago on the 16th of November. So today is the 27th. So that was 11 days ago. In that 11 days, I have received 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 days payments of uh, Ephraim and that equates to 0.0055612. So if we copy that and go over to coin value, I've already done it, um, that is currently worth $1.69. So I have got $1.69 in Ephraim, which again doesn't sound a lot, but you bearing in mind that contract that I took out is a two year contract. So we do 1.69 times that by 365 days of the year. Or I suppose actually 1.69 divide that by, oh, oh God, 1.69. Divide that by 10 days first. That's 16 cents. So it's gone from 10 cent to 16. And then times that by 365 days of the year. So on average, I should receive $61. Um, and then obviously times that by two because it's two year contract. So from my original um $58 investment, I'm going to receive £123, that's in Ephraim, uh, so we're going to minus $58 from that, and I'm running at a profit of $65, so more than double my money now, uh, before it was only, from what I worked out before, it was about 60% return on investment, now we're talking about 110%, so that's what's happened with the market going up. And this is what I was trying to talk about before, and I'm sorry if I'm talking really fast, it may get confusing. The reason that I think the best strategy is to hoard as many coins as you can, you may find that, okay, I've spent a hundred pound today, or sorry, hundred dollars or a thousand dollars today, but in two years time, what are them thousand dollars worth of Bitcoins going to be worth or Ephraim or Litecoin? What are they going to be worth at that point? We don't know. The only way, the only estimate we can have is that at the minute they're going up at a very fast rate. So I believe them thousand dollars worth of investment will then be, it will be worth you know, potentially three thousand pounds worth. And you'll think, God, I, I got all that from just a thousand pound and, I have, and you haven't got to do anything. Um, these are just coming to me every day now. So, uh, And I also have uh, Monero, which I put a $48 investment in. And if we do the same maths again, again, I've received 10 days worth of that. Um, I've got 0 0.009 in Monero. Let's go to their coin value here. They're worth $1.5. So we do... $1.5 divided by, is that 1.59 1. actually, 1.59 divide that by 10 times that's so 15 cents a day times that by 365, so that's one whole year, 58 times that by 2, that's your two year contract with no maintenance fees, so that's just it. So 116, so we're minus off the $48 that I put in at the beginning, $68 profit over the course of the two years overall. But again, obviously I'm going to have, what I'm going to have is if you do that 16 cent, 0.16 times 365 
times that by two. That's what I'm going to see in my account. I'm going to see $116 worth of Monero coin. Um, but again, what is that going to be worth in two years' time? I believe that's going to be worth a lot more than it is now. Um, obviously, these coins that are mining, Bitcoin seems to be the safest option. But when Bitcoin goes up, it attracts a lot more people to it because they start believing in the process and they might start looking at other coins. Like, I believe in Korea... They're buying up tons and tons of uh, Dash coin, yeah, Dash, um, and the price of that is sharp. It's six hundred and twenty. I remember, I remember that was worth about five five fifty dollars. Um, so it just goes to show that it isn't just Bitcoin. Bitcoin is the main one, and that is the one that's worth the most. But all the all the cryptocurrencies are all going up as in with Bitcoin, not all of them obviously, uh, there are ones that are sort of dying off, but you, I mean you're looking at the top 5, top 10, they're definitely um, sort of all on the up overall, if you look at, I mean even these charts show you, some go down, but then they always seem to creep back up to where they were and then go past it, so um, I, I, it just builds confidence in the uh, platform. Obviously, this has made me think, and I've obviously mentioned this again in a previous video, that I should be secure in these, especially with me doing videos online to you guys. I'm showing you all my accounts. I'm showing you my balances. And obviously, if that keeps going up, not that I've got a major amount. No one would probably want to spend time trying to hack my uh, measly £30 investment. But over time, I'm thinking, especially within the next week or so, I'm going to probably plowing a lot more money into cryptocurrency, especially that ICO coming up on Friday. So I'm going to buy one of these Ledger Nano S's um, and get it delivered. At the minute, they're still doing the 21% off with the Black Friday offer, so that's good news. Um, so instead of 69 euros, they're 54 euros. And um, yeah, I want to get one of these and just literally store my coins on there, but obviously keeping an eye eye on the price every day and then whenever I, if I ever want to cash out I can just plug that into my laptop upload them and then sell them on um, so I believe that's going to be the best way for me because then I ain't got to worry about someone hacking my account and I may just keep a very small amount in my sort of Exodus and um, Coinbase wallet just so that I can show you guys different things and I ain't got to worry oh if someone hacks my account and they steal all my coins they haven't got all of it because um, most of it will be stored on this Nano S. So that's the best wallet uh, and the most popular wallet you can buy at the minute. Um, there's a link down below uh, on on this, this item description. If you click on that, it takes you to this page. And like I say, they're still doing that 21% off. And you're buying it through Ledger Nano themselves. And they do worldwide delivery. So wherever you are watching this, they'll deliver it to you. And lastly, hash flare. So I talked about that the other day, and uh, a gentleman called Tyrone he commented on my video saying, uh, "Glenn, I've tried to use your link and join up with hash flare, but when you buy um, mining from them, um, it seems like you have to do it one at a time. You can't just click a load of them. So if I wanted to mine this and then click on this one, you click on their little shopping cart, click on this." Um, it doesn't add them all into one basket. You have to actually go through. I won't click proceed because it shows you. <laughs> I've, I, will, I did do this in the last video. I had to delete it. If I click proceed on this, it shows you my name, phone number, email address, my actual address. So I won't do that. Otherwise, you'll have all that information. Um, but I am going to buy, I reckon, about $50 worth of um, mining through these guys, through Hashflare. And uh, I'm going to compare that to the contract that I have with Genesis Mining. Again, obviously, trying to accumulate as many coins as I can. Um, these guys automatically convert whatever you mine into Bitcoin for you. So you ain't got to worry about all different currencies and that. You just get paid in Bitcoin. So you have to give them your Bitcoin address. And uh, yeah, again, there's um, a code. There should be a code for them down below. Click on that. And uh, if you purchase... Um, any mining off these guys I believe I get either free hash power so I'll be able to upgrade my hash um, rate if you like so I'd much appreciate that you'd be helping this channel out and obviously the more I'm doing 
the more I can tell you guys, so then you can make an informed decision to be like, oh yeah, do you know what, I want to do that Genesis mining, or I want to do the hash mining, um, so I'm trying to help as many people out as I can, but also obviously learn myself, so uh, we're on this journey together. If you're new to cryptocurrency, I suggest you go back and watch my videos from the beginning, because you will literally see my thought process from where I was then to now, um, and you could probably watch all those within an hour or two. And then that will get you caught up to where we are today um, and hopefully help you make some decisions. So um, last thing that I noticed on this website, it took me to another page called um, CryptoPay, which is an ICO for a credit card. And this really interested me, actually. I'm sorry this is going on for so long, this video, but I had so much on my mind yesterday and I didn't do a video, so I just wanted to go through it all with you today. Um, they're offering a... Um, uh, essentially a prepaid credit card so you would upload your cryptocurrency onto the card but then you're able to go into shops and just buy stuff um, you know online and in shops which I think is fantastic and the more and the more uh, ways that cryptocurrency can get into people's pockets will mean that retailers and merchants will have to adapt because they want any form of payment um, so I believe this is a great step forward I joined up with them and again there was um, a link here um, if you was to join up I'll just show you actually I don't know what this page is it started doing it on my phone Oh, I'm, I did sign up but anyway I'll put the link down below um, if you sign up you can get the card delivered to your home, which again, I think I'm going to get one of these. Oh, look, here they are. There's a fees. Card price, 15 euros. Um, if you want worldwide delivery, they've got it in euros, pounds, and US dollars. Um, loading fees. So it tells you everything up front, which again, I really like. I, I explained that in my video. I don't mind companies charging fees, admin fees, because they need to make money. I, I completely understand that as long as they're transparent and they say this is what we charge. Um, so they, these guys are doing that. Um, and I think if they can, a bit like PayPal, you know, when PayPal first came out for eBay, everyone was like, I ain't doing that. But, you know, these guys, when you join up to them, um, sign in. There we go. There we go. They, it creates you a Bitcoin wallet, so I've now got another Bitcoin wallet, so it's like my third or fourth one now. <laughs> um, and then you can actually transfer the money into euros, pounds, and dollars. And then you can order a card. If you was to uh, use my link for this down below, whatever these prices are, I believe you get 25% off. So if you are thinking about getting a credit card with some Bitcoin on it, which I think is fantastic, um, use the link down below and you'll get 25% off that. So then it won't be so much of a hit. Um, but really, you're looking at £15 for um, for the card. And then, depending on where you are in the world, I probably wouldn't want express delivery. I'm not in any rush to get one of these. I mean, McDonald's don't accept it yet. So, <laughs> um, And then it's got all their transaction fees here, what they charge for, like, we're drawing cash, we're drawing cash abroad, stuff like that. So... It just makes cryptocurrency a lot more accessible to a lot more people. So um, anyway, check them out. They're called CryptoPay.me. Um, I'll put the link in my item description. But I think that's it for me, guys. If there's anything you feel that I've missed out or should have mentioned, please comment down below. Give this video a like. Um, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, all BitGlen. Um, I've been getting a lot of your feedback and I've been trying my best to um, reply to all of you and also keeping up with the video comments and everything else um, but it's, it is starting to kick off now and uh, while we're here actually um, I don't know you might be thinking oh god shut up and send the video <laughs> for my channel um, really jumped up in view uh, subscribers um, I think the last time I talked about this, which was on my Black Friday deal, so only three days ago, I think I said, oh yeah, we've hit 20 subscribers or 22 or something, and then it jumped up to 32. So um, I jumped up quite quickly, um, which I thank you for anyone who's actually putting in time. I understand how hard it is to sit and actually watch YouTube videos that you want to watch because there's always the next one I want to watch. 
And if you're sitting here watching my video, I thank you for your time. You've just spent the last 20 minutes listening to me talk and you've chose to listen to me as opposed to another video. So I really thank you for that. And um, if you really like this video, click the subscribe button down below. There's a little coin here. Um, watch my next videos and um, comment. And I'd love to build a community. I've mentioned this several times of just normal people looking to invest into cryptocurrency. Um, I'm pretty sure people that are really heavily into the cryptocurrency world wouldn't find my videos interesting at all. Um, but people that are just starting off and they want to get a grasp of what you know is going on in the world, they might want to jump on with me because they learn as I'm learning. So I appreciate it, all the love and support. Thank you to everyone. And uh, I look forward to seeing you on the next video of Bitglen. See you later, guys. Bye.